Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. I want to use this medium to congratulate you all that will be writing your exams in the next hours. Success in your physics practical exams. Stay away from examination and practice. Study hard, pray to God and success is guaranteed. I discovered something here I want to share with us quickly before we write these exams in the next hours. Uh, this is a combination uh, of the principle of moment and Hooke's law. I have been racking my head around this experiment when I saw it on YouTube from my co-YouTubers. The equation controlling this experiment and this some few days back, I discovered that uh, equation and I, I have come to explain to, to us what, if this is what we may see in our exams, what the examiners may ask us to do. Before you hear is an experiment where uh, the principle of movement and Hooke's law is combined. Your table of values may have, uh, comp may have composite parameters for Hooke's law and composite parameters for uh, simple harmonic motion. When I go to the board to explain, I will show you how your table of values will look like. So, may look like it should you be present with something like this in your exams. So, here uh, the principle that we are placed before us here is what we call a parallel coplanar forces in physics. Uh, the law states that for a body to be in a state of equilibrium, the upward forces must be equal to the downward forces. The law still states that the upward moment must be equal to the downward moment. So if I remove this spring here, this, this ruler will fall down this way. And this means this is our clockwise movement clockwise movement. So if this spring overpowers this weight, it will lift up and there will be the, a, a turn in this direction. And so we say this is our anti-clockwise moment. You know, moment of force is defined as the product of force and the perpendicular distance. So in this case, we have three forces acting downward. This metal rule is placed at the 10th cm. The 10th cm of the ruler is, is outside here. And from here to here is 95 cm. So the mass, this mass is a mass of 200 grams. From this point to this point is 70 cm. And the masses here are 150 grams. And so the weight of the ruler is always at the center of that ruler. And so for this ruler, it's a uniform, uh, what is a uniform metal rule with the center of gravity at the 50 cm mark. So the, the, in, the, the invisible weight of the ruler is at the 50 cm mark in the center here. And in the lab, uh, the, in this particular lab, the weight of every plastic ruler we have in this lab is 172 grams or 173 grams. For this metal rule, the weight is 172 grams. So we have 172 grams here. We have uh, 200 grams here. We have 150 grams here. So the downward moment, the total downward moment is this mass or this force times this distance from here to the pie roots. The weight of the ruler times from here to the pie roots. This particular weight that will be very throughout the experiment to the pie roots times the distance from here to the pie roots plus all of this gives you the total down. I tell that again. This weight times this distance plus the weight of the ruler times this distance plus this weight times this distance. That is the total downward moment. For the upward moment, these forces, the weight of the ruler and these two masses 
are creating an upward tension here. And you know, tension is also the same thing as force. So there is a tension here, and there is a force. So that force times this distance from here to this point is the upward moment. So this uh, spring is hung at 95 cm mark. So the, 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 the tension here or the force here is the same thing as F is equal to KE. Next up, you see how I explain all of this on the board. And the aim of this is for us to find the elastic constant of the spring. So, welcome back. As I was explaining, this is the diagram for the setup you saw there. So, there's a force here, and this force is given to be mass times gravity. This also is equal to mass times gravity. Mass times gravity. So, we are going to apply the principle of moment here. Precisely from parallel coplanar forces, and uh, we are going to see what we get. So let's find the total downward moment. So we write d subscript m, the total downward moment will be given to Sorry, my, my camera is showing a reflection here, so I have to change the position of the camera. So, uh, just following up, we want to find the total downward moment. So, we write that the total downward moment, dm, downward moment, is equal to this force times this distance. So, we have f1. And the distance of F1, uh, F1 was balanced at 30, 35. Yes, F1 was balanced at 35. I forget, I forget to write that from here to this point. To this point is a uh, is 35. This is 35, 35 cm. So, this force times the perpendicular distance from here to here. So, 35 minus 10 will give you 25. So, F1 times 25 plus F3 plus F3. Uh, F3 is, is hung at 70 cm mark. So, 70 cm mark minus 10 we give you 40 times times 40 sorry let's go with F2 first F2 plus F2 F2 is the center of the gravity at the center of the gravity so 20 minus 10 20 minus 10 will give you 40 times 40 cm plus F3 plus F3, F3 is hung at 70 cm. So 70 minus 10 will give you 50. So, sorry, 60, 60. We give you 60. 70 minus 10 will give you 60. So times, times 60 cm. F1 times from here to here, that is 30 minus 10, we give you 25. So 25 times F1. So F2 is at 50, 50 minus 10, that is 40. 40 times F2. So, so F3 is 70 minus 10. 60. We'll give you 60. So 6 times F3. So let's slot in the, the values. So to convert F, to find F1, we we'll could multiply mass times gravity. And we are going to convert this mass to to kilogram. So write that for F2, for F1 you have 200, 200 grams divided by by 1000 
times 25 divide divide by by 100 plus F2 we have 172 172 divide by 1000 times 40 divide by 100 plus F3 we have 150 gram divided by 1000 times 60 divided by 100 so if you if you do that correctly this is what we have we have we have two Divide by 200 by 1000 that will give us uh, give us 0 0.2 times times 0 0.25 plus 172 divided by 1000 that will give us uh, one zero zero point one seven two zero point one seven two times times 0 0.4 plus 150 by 1000 we have 0 0.15 times 60 by 100 that will give us 0 0.6 so if you solve that don't forget that we have converted everything to standard units so this is everything is newton meter so we have uh, 0 0.2 times 0 0.25 we have 0 0.05 uh, plus 0 0.172 times 0 0.4 we have 0 0.0688 plus 0 0.15 times 0 0.6 we have 0 0.09 all in Newton meter so if you sum that you have 0 0.05 plus 0 0.0688 0 0.0688 plus 0 0.09 so we have 0 0.20 So therefore, the total downward moment is equal to this. The upward moment, the total upward moment is given to be equal to the tension of the spring, which is equal to F4 plus KB, and that is equal to L4, and that is equal to what KB. So. The, 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 the tension here is, uh, is, is, is Hooke's law, KE, the, the, the force causing the, the spring to extend the weight of the ruler, this weight, the weight of the ruler at the center, this weight, and this, pushing the spring down and creating an upward tension. And that is where Hooke's law comes in. F for equals to KE. And this KE, uh, this K is what the examiners may ask us to find it. So if you see, I did something here. Uh, when this, the, the, when the meter rule, this guy and this guy uh, were not hung on this spring. The, the end of the initial length of the spring, of the unloaded spring was 62.5 cm L0. And when all of the, these guys were hung on the spring, I got an extension and an L to be 72.3. 
and especially becomes L minus L not and about uh, 9.8 cm. So 9.8 cm to convert to meters, we are going to have something like this. So our total uh, upward moment is given to be equals to Ke. So for this meter rule to be able to be in a state of equilibrium, for this arrangement to be in a state of equilibrium, the upward moment must be equal to the downward moment, or the upward forces must be equal to the downward forces. And this is the equation for that. So we are going to uh, we are going to say uh, dm total downward moment is equal to total upward moment. In this case, we're going to say that our ke is given to be is equal to this value is yes, 0.2088 Newton meter. Don't forget, since this is a standard unit of Newton meter, we must convert our extension E to meters. So we write that uh, our K is equal to this 0 0.2088 Newton meter. Don't forget that uh, I forgot something here. Uh, total upward moment is not only Ke, it is Ke times this distance. The distance from here to this point. And in that case, that is 95 minus 10. We give us 95 minus 10, we give us 85. So this is uh, times 85 cm. Yes, that is settled. Times 85 cm. So I will have to rewrite this quickly. Total downward moment, total downward moment is equal to Ke times 85. So we are going to write that our extension, our uh, K times 9.8 divided by 100 times 8. 5 divided by 100 that will give us meter square is equal to 0 0.2088 Newton meter. So we are having 9.8 divided by 100 and that will give us 0 0.098. Times eighty five divided by one hundred that will give us zero point eight five, and the answer will be Newton meter. So we we'll have zero point two zero eight eight Newton meter. So this time we so we'll have a zero point zero nine eight. 0 0.098 times 0 0.85 that will give us 0 0.0833 meter square which is equal to don't forget our k is here our k is here and then this is 0 0.2088 newton meter Good. Permit me to conclude my calculations here. So our K, the elastic constant of this spring is given to be uh, uh, this divided by that. We have two. Uh, sorry, we have zero point two zero eight eight newton meter divided by 0 0.0833 meter square. I know that meter square also means meter times meter. So this will go and this will go. So if you evaluate that correctly, if you evaluate that correctly, we have we have 0 0.20 
88 divided by 0 0.0833. And that will give us 2.5066 Newton per meter. So this is the stiffness of that spring. If you want to verify that correctly, you can now come and say dm is equal to un. And if you do that correctly, you are going to have uh, a zero value. So our dm was uh, 0 0.2088888 Newton meter. This is question. Our un is due to be k k e k e d uh, uh, k k e yeah k e d. If you evaluate that correctly you are going to have and don't forget our KE was this value here so you just and then our value of K our KE that is a KED so uh, if you put that correctly our K is the 2.5 uh, 066 times ED, our ED was 0 0.0833. So our K times 0 0.0833 gives us exactly this value. So we have 0 0.20. Eight, eight. Verify the physics behind this arrangement. So truly, our dm minus um is equal to zero. Verify the principle of moment. The total moment about the point will be equal to zero. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. I wish you guys success in your exams. Bye-bye. God bless you.